the story of this song really is, uh, it's our life in 2015. We were ready to welcome a new little baby boy to our family. But um, when Allison one day said, something's wrong, and we went to the doctor, and the amazing thing is we didn't even have money for insurance. So we had no insurance. Oh. And we went in, um, we knew a friend for years, and we didn't know that he was a um, ultrasound technician. Yeah. <laughs> so he literally snuck us in after his what? shift. Wow. Late at night at the hospital, because oh. it's expensive, and we yeah. didn't have any insurance, you know. And he couldn't find a heartbeat, and he kept looking. And after the second time, because he he was really trying, he was looking, and you know, it was only around 11, 12 weeks. And by then, you definitely know you can have a heartbeat by then. But he, I remember when he just kind of sighed, and he stopped for a second, and he put the ultrasound thing down, and. That's when Allison and I looked at each other and we just knew that we'd lost the baby. Mm -hmm. And it took a good week before I was really willing to say, listen, I need to do whatever I got to do to make sure that my wife and I stay together. Uh, because we had just had a huge fight over this. Because I was supposed to go to Nashville and finish our record and write songs. And I'm supposed to be a provider for the family. And yeah. that's what I do. We lived in Chicago at the time. And and she was being very gracious, but I remember going for a bike ride after this big fight and the Lord, the Holy Spirit just said to me, man, don't be an idiot. Just stay home, do whatever she needs you to do and wait for the baby to come because we decided to have the baby naturally. And so we shipped the girls off to grandma's and the baby came and I almost lost my wife in the process and she almost, um, she almost died. And it was... I remember very specifically some of the things that happened. I remember we, when I, when we buried our son, I remember afterwards we were doing the dishes and the Holy Spirit said to me, you know, it's okay. You can let go. I got him. And there is a verse, you know, in Psalm 34, 18 that I'd read that was literally ministering to me. It says the Lord is close to the brokenhearted wow. and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And I'd read that before, but when you go through something as close to death like that, you, it means a lot. Then it means something very different to you. And so, but I was regretting the fact that I didn't sing to the baby this much this time around. I was busy with career and stuff. When the girls were born, I was singing to them every day, you know, before they were born, you know, the baby bump. And they knew my voice yeah. when they came out. And, and I remember I said, girls, we know that we've likely lost the baby. We're just waiting for him to come. Let's sing Jesus loves us, uh, loves me anyway. So everybody put your hands on Molly's, mommy's belly. And we sang... And I just, that was the first time I bawled my eyes out. I couldn't even get past Jesus Loves Me. Mm -hmm. And we're all start crying, and then what happened? You and then Mom and Savannah finished it off. All by herself. Yep. Little all five year old. <laughs> yep. She's back there, like, I couldn't do anything <laughs> but sing it. I'd never been that close to death before. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing when you know Jesus how it brings you closer to life. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, death is dead. But when you still experience it, experience it this side of heaven, it it just means something a lot more, especially when it's one of your children. And so I remember the, the one of the best things I ever heard anybody in my whole life ever say was my eight-year-old daughter. What did you say? You know why um, the doctor couldn't find the heartbeat? And because he already gave it to Jesus. And I thought... Like, put her in next to Micah and the Minor Prophets. <laughs> right after Jeremiah, it's the Book of Ava, you know? It's like, ah! and, and that's what we named our son is Jeremiah, you know? It. You did. You named I him. I opened the Bible, and it actually flipped right to Jeremiah. Right to Jeremiah. I'm like, that's it. Oh, I love that She totally that picked the name. And yeah. so Jeremiah means uh, God is lifted up, and Jaren, his middle name, means to shout and to sing. So just like his dad. He's in the presence of Jesus shouting and singing about it. So I'm on this side of heaven. He's on the other side, and we're both doing the same thing, which is kind of cool, I think. Everything's not fine.